Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. I uh, want to start it off by uh, congratulating our team, number one, and then number two, uh, Demetrius Hardiman, on receiving uh, the East uh, Defensive Player of the, uh, of the Week. Played really well. Super excited to get this week going and uh, looking forward to the uh, next challenge up in Mount Pleasant. Well, it's, uh, it's been a work in progress for sure. And uh, I think our defensive line is uh, very good and uh, our offensive line played to their potential. And uh, I thought the running backs ran well. I thought the game plan was uh, exceptional. And uh, we found a way to uh, beat a very good team. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, you know, they were put in a tough situation uh, coming into the season. We knew that uh, each of them were going to play a part, but uh, not to the extent that they all are now because of Terry on. And uh, I thought they really, um, really played well as a unit. I mean, all, all of them did. They ran the ball hard. I thought Jais and Patterson played his best game. I thought he was uh, very good. So. Um, but they did their job, and uh, Coach White's a really good running back coach, and they responded uh, to this week's challenge, last week's challenge, I guess. Now, we're moving on. Yeah, uh, I thought it was uh, different. You know, in the Marshall game, we had to throw it around to win. Uh, in this game, uh, we. Uh, we felt at the beginning of the game that uh, we would have to throw it a little bit more than uh, we anticipated, but uh, we started running the ball well. Uh, the few things that we put in differently were working, so uh, the defense was playing great, so um, running the ball was the best thing at that time uh, to, f to win the game. Yeah, this is a, uh, you know, I put the challenge out. This is a really good team that we're going up against. Really well coached. Um, they know how to win. You know, it's very similar to Miami. They're, they're a good team. And going up there is very difficult to play. Uh, it's normally cold and windy, but thank goodness we are uh, supposed to have nice weather. And, uh, you know, we got to go play our best game. You know, just like I've said, it doesn't matter who we play anymore. And this league is chaotic, it's crazy. And uh, each week, each week you got to bring your A game. If not, you're going to get your, your tail kicked in. So we've got to have a really good week of practice. We need to eliminate some mistakes. We need to catch the ball better. That was the one negative on offense. We just didn't catch the ball very well. Could have had, a, I think Max should have been 23 or 29 if we could just catch the football. So. Um, need to clean up some uh, things in the red area. I need to start scoring touchdowns down there and uh, keep playing good defense. What's it like having back-to-back -back home games and going out on the road for that final, final Saturday? Yeah, it's, we're finally – Saturday is our last game of uh, the second season, as we would call it, you know, the regular college football. And then uh, for the next month, we don't know what day it is, what time it is, what month it is. It's it's different. So this is a, a great opportunity to see how mature our team is and uh, how much they can move the needle of our program going up to a, play a really good uh, Central Michigan team. Well. It's not just watching him progress this year. It's watching him. He was uh, a guy that totally is self-made. He uh, wasn't big enough, wasn't strong enough. Uh, he literally sat at the, uh, the Oaks dining and ate all day and studied all day. And when he wasn't doing that, he was down here lifting weights and working on his trade. He's a guy last year that I look out. And uh, after a game, uh, he's out there 
working on uh, his technique. Uh, he's infatuated with football. Uh, he's a very good student, so we're happy that uh, he was able to help our team win last week.